Here in Umm al-Khair, uh, we face a demolition, it's an annual demolition. Every year we face three or five demolitions here. And uh, all of the houses in my community got a demolition orders and we are waiting. And every day uh, in the morning we are uh, just check uh, the near uh, uh, roads to see if the bulldozers come to demolish or not. Uh, uh, yes, uh, we got nine time demolition in my village. Uh, every demolition six to seven houses and this makes the life uh, herbal and we are suffering from this a lot uh, and we hope one day to, to arrive to, without, to, to live without a demolition, to live uh, in peace in my village. I think it's uh, very important to accompany these people in their struggle to survive uh, under a military regime, to uh, create a situation where they can stay in their homes and stay on their land and uh, resist the terrible apartheid regime that is happening here. So today we are invited to Malkher by the residents here on International Human Rights Day. It's a day that's celebrated all over the world as a celebration of human dignity and the rights of all people to housing, infrastructure, and education. Here in Malkher and throughout the occupied territories, the human rights of residents are not respected. They've been denied the right to housing, education, um, and other essential resources. And we're here working with them um, to cultivate the land, um, which so often they can't without interference from settlers and from the military. Even just over the past four months, there's been three demolitions here. Um, and the Israeli army is basically trying, and not really even slowly, quite quickly are trying to push out the Palestinians of Area C in the South Hebron Hills, which is where Um al Khair is. Um, situated. If you were to look over the mountain right now, Um al Khair is under um, a, a settlement called Carmel um, and you can really feel how if you're living in the South Hebron Hills as a Palestinian, you are constantly surrounded by the Israeli occupation. Um, and as an Israeli and also as a Jewish person uh, and as a human being, it's important for me to come and stand with the residents of Um al Khair and say, I don't believe in this, I don't stand for this and I will fight for you. The presence of Jewish and international activists in Umm al-Khair shouldn't be necessary. Ideally, one day people from all over the world will come to Umm al-Khair to visit, to meet the wonderful families here, to experience the warmth and the hospitality and the kindness and generosity. Uh, but that's not the case today. Today we need to have Jewish and international activists on the ground in Umm al-Khair to support uh, the work that family members here do to defend themselves, to advocate for themselves. The people of Umm al Khair have lived in this spot since the 50s and are still denied access to the most basic facilities, the most basic services and amenities. The people of Carmel, since the day they set foot here, were taken care of because the government sees them as human beings worthy of care. All it takes is looking around Umm al-Khair to understand that the government of Israel has no such goodwill towards the residents here. <laughs>